try to, what I know, I try to display to the world so they would know. You know, I don't keep secrets. If I can have something I feel would be beneficial to someone else's life, I keep it. You know, a lot of people know things and don't want to, uh, 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 they obtain knowledge but don't want to deliver it and give it to others. You know, but I'm different. You know, I'm a type of person that, that you know, I want to see everyone make it and do well in life, even if they do better than I. You know, and it's very few people, you know, uh, that's like that in this world, and it's sad. So, you know, I'm just speaking to believe and receive. You think people tripped out the fact that you were so confident in your game, you didn't give a damn about the cards, you didn't even go to time them out. You know, not only, I, I never, I never cares about the cards and who winning and who up, you know, I, I don't care about that. When, you, when you're blessed with the power that I'm blessed with, you know, you wouldn't care either, you know. So, uh, I'm just, I'm just happy to be who I am. And I'm, be, I'm happy to just be able to, to share my energy in the ring and allow my opponents to share their energy with me. And like I said, we put on a great, a great fight for, for the thousand that's in the, the audience and uh, the millions that are watching. So, you know. It's Fury, it's Fury Joshua, and Ruiz officially on notice. Was that was that I mean, they, they've been on they've been on notice from, from you know from the time I became a champion. You know, at this point in time, you know, you know they they know who's the man in the division. You know. Uh, and I can't wait to just fight all those guys, you know. I'm going to be around, like I said, six more years. And um, I'm looking to fight nothing but the best of the best. And um, I consider those guys the best. So, you know, I'm going to still be around. They know my number. Mm -hmm. yeah, if I'm yeah, talking with, with Fury, uh, the, the rematch being next, I'm not sure if you saw Ben Davidson was in the room. The moment you brought up the knockout of Tyson King back in December, he stepped out of the room. Obviously, he felt the message, but you'll be watching. What do you say to Ben Davidson? Because you did say take notes. Any any last words to him before the rematch? I mean, that's the reason he's here to take notes, and I want him to take notes and, and take it back. They know they know what happened in that fight. I gave Fury a concussion. If I had the referee that I had tonight in that fight, it would we wouldn't be talking about this right now. You know, um, that's what happens to fighters. That's why we pass away and bad things happen to us for situations like that, where you know a referee want to go off of the spirit and not and not the rules. And because as a fighter, we're gonna be brave regardless. Because this is in a we got a warrior man to be brave but you know I'm glad Ben was here to go back and tell his whole team what had happened I'm sure they watched it as well too and um, come February you know I, I, I gave him a concussion I'm, I'm, I'm planning on doing even more damage to him they don't want this fight you know or they would have really took the rematch he felt like he beat him he beat me like he claimed this is easy money that's an easy rematch to take but he don't he don't feel that way. They know I'm very dangerous with the right hand. He's said it many times, and he's gonna feel it again, but in the worst in the worst way come February. So I, I can't. I spoke, to, the, 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 I spoke to Ben about the level of opposition that Tyson has been facing yesterday. He told me that Otto Wallin would dominate a dominant Brazil. Like, do you really feel that, that they believe that? Because I mean, you know, I mean, hey, man, we, we all have crazy people in boxing. So, you know, if they feel that way, if they feel like the route they've been taking is, is, is so, you know, such a, 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 a great and beneficial thing, then, you know, hey, who am I to say different? You know, um, I let them run their team like they run it. And we run, I was like, we run it. May we both meet in the ring and may the best man win yeah, at the end of the night. How's it to do something that night Mike Tyson didn't do, Lennon mm -hmm. Lewis didn't do? You gotta be careful now, they're gonna get jealous. You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. And that's one and that's one of the things about it. I tell all the greats that came before. You know, one thing about it, we gotta stop talking about uh the past, the past fighters and the past era. You gotta you gotta you gotta celebrate and, 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 and respect and be glad for the era right now, you know. And a lot of these guys, you know, and it's sad to see that, you know, that they don't wanna give up. They don't want to give give it up, you know what I mean? Be happy. I can't wait till I retire, so I can so I can be so I can be able to pray. I praise a lot of fighters now, and it's, it's just the same at this point in time. They say history repeats itself. Shout out to but New York. Shout out to New York, baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and history history always repeats itself. And but God just made a monster in me. So you know, I, you know, uh, may God bless them all, though. Because not only I'm breaking records, but I'm continuing to do it. It's in, it, it, you know, my grandma said I was anointed by God years ago, and it's only manifestation. I'm still walking in my manifestation. And those that doubt me and that against me and, and, and try to drag my name in the dirt, they will be the ones that still look like fools at the end of the night. And that's yeah, final, final question, Yante. Do you think you officially punched your ticket to the Hall of Fame? I know you're a historian and you, you keep up the sport, but you think that right hand basically simultaneously punched that ticket? Oh, most definitely. I'm, I'm, you know, 
I'm going straight to the Hall of Fame. You know, I, I just uh, dedicated my hand wraps um, to the Hall of Fame along with, uh, you know, I already did a, a hand mold. So, you know, in the end of my career, especially when I go undefeated with all knockouts like that, it's gonna be it's it's gonna be amazing to just to see that. But at this point in time, I'm just I want to I, I just want to lead by example to everyone that if you believe in yourself, anything is possible. I always say my favorite saying, everyone has greatness in them, but greatness is only determined by service. I'm just one of those that were willing to, to plot my 100% service and, and allow y'all to see the greatness that's inside of me. Deontay, 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 you got a uh, big fight happening in two weeks. Which one of those guys would you prefer to see in the ring when you unify? I prefer, I prefer personally to see Ruiz win because Ruiz understands and uh, and he wanna he wants to unify the division. Um, the other the other side they don't want to do it. We've seen that. We you know we've seen that for many 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 uh, many times that we tried to make it happen. And and we know the reason why they didn't want that to happen. Are you fighting for your own? So so I'm looking forward to him. So I'm looking forward to him uh, winning the fight again. Um, and uh, we finally have a one time and one face one night. That makes Deontay, sense, right? Hey, Deontay, Andy, because you guys are both PBC and mixed yeah, Exactly. We're in the same stable. You know, we, we're friends, and uh, it's going to be an amazing fight at the end of the night. So um, I'm looking forward to that. And uh, it's, and when that happens, it'll be something that should have been happening a long time ago in the heavyweight division. The heavyweight division is too small to have too many champions. I don't believe in it. The heavyweight division is a special division. You know, this is the big boy. This is the power unit right here. And with that being said, we need one champion, one face, one name. You go by the name. Deontay, you talking about the right strategy. I am the greatest. Good to see you. Well, man, I have to say something to you. The first time I saw you, I chose you to be the winner tonight. That's why I saw you was in fit. But most importantly, I find you a very humble person. As you said, you're still here learning. You have been anointed, my brother. And I'm here for you. And I'll just get up right here. I love this. Muhammad Ali would have, Muhammad Ali would have loved this too. Oh, yeah, you are definitely the king of the ring. You don't have to prove anything. Just do your thing. Yes, ma'am. Thank yeah. you so much. Yes, sir. Oh, this is my manager right here. Hey, how you doing? Bless Thank you. Bless you. First of all, congratulations. No, I didn't. You did a fantastic Beautiful job. job. Yeah, so really was, I told him, I said, look at that brother. Fight, number one. You're in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I don't want to be disrespectful to the opponents, you know, because every fighter that steps in the ring deserves their due respect. But, you know, it's day and night between what I'm doing and what he's doing. So, uh, you know. You got another gear in you, though, you feel like, for that big fight? Oh, yeah, you know, most definitely. Most of, like, I got, got a lot of more. things. I got a lot of things, baby. Mo. Hey, hey, man, come minutes, on with it. Like I said, I got six eight years more, left. Ten more, baby. Yeah, come on with it. Yeah, right, you know, man. so uh, I got I got six more years. So, uh, you know, you're going to see nothing but greatness of me. You know, so. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you so much, Sam. Thank you, Do you think that it had the right strategy to fight you up until the end? I mean, Ortiz had the right strategy for any fighter. That's why they're not fighting him. I mean, the man has 500 fights under his belt. You know, that's with amateur and professional. So he's probably, with 500 bouts, I can only imagine having even 100, you know. And to see so many styles like that, he got the, he got the, he got the answer for anyone. You know, with him, I I just outsmarted him, um, uh, um, and uh, I had to move a little bit different with my long range and the power. You know, who knows what would have happened if I didn't have power? You know, so um, I'll do respect to Ortiz. I love him as a person. I love him as a fighter, and um, hopefully, you know, me giving him the opportunity the second. Hopefully, me giving him the opportunity the second time. We, he'll be able to to support his family and support his daughter beyond beyond all their beliefs. And with that anointed power, do you ever take your performance less than an A? Do you grade your performances? I, I never grade my performance. You know, um, I just go back. I, I, I look at things, highlight reels and stuff. And like I said, I'm still amazed at when I do things. You know, so um, I'm just I'm a humble person. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm more than what people really think that I am because they see me in in the atmosphere of boxing. They see me. And, my, and, and, uh, and, and they see me when I'm in a state of being in boxing or whatever, but on the outside, you know, I'm a humble person. I just like to be amongst all my family. We show positive energy and, um, uh, and we think positive. We do positive things and with that being said, we have positive results and that's, that's all I ever want, you know. Other than that, what I do in my career is, you know, 
it speaks for itself. Last question. Up up Who knows? I got a lot of things going on, so. <laughs> Blessings. Well, thank you, Thank you, guys, so much. Thank you guys so much. Andy Ruiz was a you you enjoyed like a painting all day said that she would never have to work again. Correct. Tonight I was I was I was with your mom in the stands and when you knocked him out, she said this is that she was ecstatic. She almost fell on the stairs. She said this is exactly what he said he was gonna do. How do you feel about that? I mean it's it's always a overwhelming feeling. It's always a great feeling to go each and every each and every night that I'm, I step in the ring and knock guys out. I mean, as a heavyweight, that's what we want to do. That is our main mission at the end of the night is knock our opponents out, and I do it well. You know, so uh, I'm very grateful to to have the ability and the talent and the power to do it and give the fans what they want to see. When they come and see heavyweights, they want to see knockout, and I do it the best. Always. Muhammad Ali is the most loved fighter. Mm. Tyson's the most feared. Would you rather be loved or feared? I'd rather be loved. You know, love, love is the root of, love is the cure to evil. You know what I mean? So uh, I'd rather be, I'd rather be loved than, than feared. You know, being feared, you know, people don't want to be around someone they fear. You know, um, and then you can be a great person if someone, if you fears me and I'm a great person, you will never understand me. And that's the thing, that's the problem between the world, misunderstanding. You know, it's just even with me now. You know, people always played me as the villain, but that wasn't of me. You know, I, I spread my love every day outside of the ring and you know to receive love so i'd rather be loved than feared so you get a lot of uh, stick if you will for not being a technical fighter but tonight uh, you say you've got a style this is we have to accept this as a yes. style now what do we call this style the wilder way of life <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys so much